So here's a little video of what I'm proposing. Uh, currently, I have this 240 watt solar panel feeding this Victron 120 solar controller. That comes down to two bus bars. Um, there's a 500 amp shunt here. And what I have is this um, 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery just connected to this shunt and to this bus bar. And that feeds the whole system. So what on this uh, shunt, the positive goes directly to this battery. So it's, it's giving me feedback on the situation, charge state of the battery. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add now two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, smaller footprint, uh, four of them can be combined for a 48 volt. Uh, and what I'm thinking about is taking these on the boat. This unfortunately, uh, to bring these on the boat, and again, I'm looking at the 48 volt down the road. This is an enormous footprint. And I don't think on the yachts I'm looking at, there's gonna be room for four of these guys because I'm not getting rid of my Yanmar diesel. I'm not going, I'm just gonna put the additional parallel electric motor on there. Anyway, enough of that, we're clouding the issue. <laughs> so what I'm gonna to do to make this install happen, uh, now I'm gonna add this, this battery bank. So I need to add a second set of bus bars dedicated to the batteries. So I'll have this current bus battery will move from these this shunt and, and this bus bar down to this new bus bar here. That'll be directly connected to the shunt. So that's my shunt negative. Um, this positive here will be for the batteries again. So his positive will go to that bus bar. Then down here we'll have the new batteries. They'll be parallel connect and their positive will go to this new bus bar, sharing that with the old battery. And their negative will go to the new negative bus bar, sharing that with the old battery. Then I'm gonna move this positive from the shunt. Instead of going directly to this battery, I wanna see the situation with both. I'm gonna bring it over here. And now it's getting a, po it's getting a reading from this battery bank and this battery bank. They charge the same parameters this one will be now essentially a 200 amp hour battery. This is a 200 amp hour battery. Uh, a little bit different chemistry, but not enough where you gotta change it on the solar controller. All the charging parameters for this guy are identical to these new two. And now this down the road will allow me to add additional, if I stay at 12 volt, heck I could add just one more battery here. If I wanted to go to a 24, I can add two here. Or if I wanna go to the 48, I can add the two here. So um, that's the config. This is what I'm looking at doing. Uh, and again, I'm only considering this because it gives me the flexibility to go up to a 48 volt battery that I can transport to the boat that will be at a small enough footprint where I can get four of them in instead of four of these monsters. <laughs> this is a great battery. But um, looking down the road, I think I needed to go with the smaller footprint and that gives you just so much more flexibility. I mean, these two alone, I could have gone with a, uh, there's an inverter here too, which I should have added. I could have gone with a 24 volt inverter, but uh, because I've only got this at 12, I can't do that in this config. So these are the reasons, this is the approach. Uh, let me know what you think if you see any problems. That's what I'll be doing.